So yeah, discrete op amps. Today we're going to explain all about op amps and discrete op amps. So op amps are these little chips, look like this. We make discrete op amps look like this. So our op amps do what the little chips do, only better. They can be found in preamps, power amps, phono amps, sound cards, DACs. They're using just about all audio gear. So why are the discretes better than the ICs? The IC op amps can only run about a half watt, so their output stages almost always run in class B mode. The discretes don't have this limitation, so we can run the output stage in class A mode. Gives you sharper, more natural transients and a wider, more realistic sound state. Yeah, the, uh, the biggest thing that we can do that the IC guys can is this thing called two pole compensation. We can achieve much higher open loop gains in our device than the IC guys can. And the reason is they, they can't really put capacitors inside these things that well. And this two pole compensation thing requires a couple capacitors. They can't really make things like this in an integrated circuit. So that's that's why the discretes are better. It was all the little doggies idea. And because IC op amps are made overseas by soulless individuals in clean rooms with sadness and despair, but our discrete op amps are made right here in Colorado, America by the Dr. Solissa Jones with tenderness and love. So by now you must be wondering how you can get one of these into your system. Well, Fortunately, most op amps are on sockets, which allows the ICs to be removed and then the discretes to be plugged in. First, you have to find them in your equipment. There it is. This happens to be the LT1792. So you got to get the number off of it and look it up to make sure, see what kind of op amp it is. They come in two flavors. Single op amps, where there's only one op amp inside the chip and dual op amps where there's two independent op amps inside the chip. You can only replace singles with singles and duals with duals and the two are not compatible. So to find out if it's a single or a dual we go to digikey.com and in the search bar here you can type in the number of the device. This is going to be the LT1792. You might get several results some of them are going to be package variations and all that but the main number is the number that they're all going to be under. So we just click on one here. First of all, you want to make sure that it is in fact an op amp. Not everything in these 8 pin packages are op amps. So to find out if it's a single or a dual, you just look under number of circuits. This one's one, so this is a single. If it had said two, it would be a dual. Single op amps can be replaced with our SS3601 discrete op amp. And for duals, you use the SS3602 dual discrete op amp. So, so how you replace these things, you, you got to get it in the right way around. So if you're going to replace the op amp, you got to know whether you're going to plug it in like this or plug it in the other way around like that. And there's things on here to help you do that. So usually on the board, there's some kind of marking to indicate pin one. So this little notch right here is trying to show you pin one. There's also a little dot and this kind of line on the device that shows you pin one. On, on our devices, pin one is marked by this large gold pad in the corner. So, so since pin one is on this end, you have to put the device in like this. If you get it the other way around like that, you'll destroy it immediately. So that's the one thing you gotta work, watch for. So how do you get these things out of here? Well, you get a little pair of screwdriver, flat blade, and you kind of just come in here and just come in here and just pry it up ever so gently until it pops out of the socket and here it is removed and that's the socket it came from and then to get our device in there you basically just make sure you got the pin one lined up and make sure you get it in the holes and you just plug it in like that and you just upgraded your op amp so if you're confused and none of this made sense, you can hit us up on sparkoslabs.com and we'll answer all your questions. Operators are standing by.